Hi everyone, today I'll show you how you can make these custom enemies. As you see right here, I did with the gnomes. These gnomes will actually attack you, they have a certain amount of health and they'll display a cool death effect. I'll show you everything from the start to the finish in this tutorial. Okay, let's go. Before we start this tutorial, we have an exciting announcement. To celebrate reaching 2k subscribers, we are hosting a major giveaway. We'll be giving away 2 rank system packages and 2 of our newest and unreleased box PvP map bundles. This box PvP map bundle is super user friendly and you can create your own box PvP map with 20 unique abilities in under 20 minutes. This giveaway will begin in 2 days and you can find more details in our discord. Now let's dive into the tutorial. Alright, first off we'll go to Sketchfab to actually find our model. For this video I search up GNOME and then in Sketchfab click downloadable and animated. And then in here I found this one. Um, made by Drill Impact, shout out to him. So this is a 3D model uh, where we have some animations. So we have an, uh, a hit, we also have an idle and a walking. So that's perfect for what we need. We'll go over to here and then you'll see the license is CC Attribution. This means that you can use it for also commercial purposes. So that's what you need for Fortnite maps. But you'll have to give the owner credit. Uh, so you can give him credit, for example, in a Twitter post or in your Fortnite map description. We'll go here to the download 3D model and then we'll download the FBX file. And then I'll just open this from here. I'll open this with my explorer. And then in here we have two folders. We have the source and the texture. We'll first open up the source. And this again is in a WinRAR. So we'll open it using WinRAR. And then we'll extract these two files to our downloads. So once I did that, you can see we have the model right here and uh, the texture. Then we'll go over to our UEFN and then I'm just going to pick a blank template with the GNOME tutorial name. Once our UEFN has loaded in, we'll create a new folder with the GNOME assets in it. Then we'll open up this folder and then in here we'll just simply drag these two. This will give a pop-up. Just make sure this box is checked and this box is checked. And then also uh, this right here, import animation. Um, and the other settings should be the same, but if you're experiencing any problems, just make sure all the options are the same as here. All right, we'll hit import. So as you see right now, we not got any errors, but our texture didn't import. That's because our texture is the same name as the model. So the models and the animations imported. So we'll just call, we'll just rename that one into texture and we'll drag that one back again into our UFN. And now it loads up correctly. So as you see, we can drag out the skeletal mesh. As you see, the gnome is here and we'll make a material so the gnome actually has some color. So we'll just make a material. We'll open this one by double clicking. And then into the content drawer, we can go to our folder, drag in the material, hit the RGB to the base color. And then another important step, because if you're going to save it right now and you want to apply it to the skeletal mesh of the GNOME, you'll see it'll give an error, as you see right here. To fix this, you can go to the material back again and then hit this box and just search up scale. And then here, use with skeletal mesh and then save that one. And then you'll see the mesh applies to the little gnome. Then we'll create a new verse file to actually make sure everything works. So we'll just call the one custom enemy. We'll create an empty one. In Visual Studio Code, you can simply paste the code you can find in our Discord for free, link down below. And then we'll just hit save on this one. We'll exit out and then we'll build the verse code. So right now, if we build the verse code, we can put the verse clause into our world, you'll see we'll need a zombie spawner, an enable trigger, a disable trigger, and this enabled, if this is checked, then the spawner will automatically spawn the gnomes. But if this is unchecked, players will have to first enable the trigger, have to step or shoot the enable trigger to then enable the spawners. But I'll just leave it enabled for now. Then we have an enemy array. In this enemy array, we'll have a idle blueprint a walking blueprint, an attack blueprint, health, damage, and other things, and also a diet asset. So we'll first start by actually placing down all the devices we'll need. So we'll place down a creature spawner. We'll place this one down. 
And in this creature spawner, there's a lot of things you can change. You can mess around with them as you like, but for now, I'm just going to keep it standard. So we'll add this one here. As you see, you can also add multiple creature spawners. Then we'll place down the triggers and the second trigger. Then we'll just hit them up as the enabled and disabled trigger. And then for the enemy array right here, we have the idle blueprint. We'll have to create those out of our little gnome. So we'll go back to our folder and then I'll create a new blueprint. This blueprint will be a building prop and then we'll call this one, uh, let's say idle gnome. We can simply open this by double clicking. Then in here, we'll drag our gnome. So with the pink line right here, as you see, he's flipped upside down right now. So we'll place him on his two feet. Okay. And then the animation to play, because I call this one the idle, we'll just also add the idle animation that was in the pack. Yeah, perfect. We'll compile this and then we'll duplicate this because we still have to make the run animation and also the attack animation. So here we can simply change the animation to play to the run. It's probably called walk then. Yeah, the walk here. Then we'll back out of this as well. And then we'll duplicate it again for the attack gnome. And then hit your gnome again. And then the animation will be the attack. Yeah, it's called hit. All right. So now that we've made all these files, I can drag one in our world to check it out. So it's attack animation. As you see, it's not playing anything right now because in new event, you cannot view these animations. But in Fortnite, you'll see this animation playing. So now we still have to add them to our creative computer and we'll do that by going to the idle. So if you name them a reasonable name, you can find them pretty easily. This one I think I called run. Yeah, run gnome and then attack gnome. Yeah, all right. And then we also have a diet asset. Uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, there was like a bit of an explosion. I'll remake that right now. So I'll create a building prop and then I'll just call this one boom. And in here I can add a Niagara, a Niagara particle system. And then this Niagara, um, there are some pretty nice ones. I think grenade will do. We'll compile that one. We'll see how big it is. If it works. Yeah. The gnome will be fully engulfed by the smoke. So I think that's perfect. And then we'll also change that one here to the boom. All right. Then we'll launch the session and see if everything works. We have just spawned in into our session. And as you see, yeah, they're a bit glitchy because they are walking at me at sideways, but everything else seems to be good. They're switching their animations. Yeah. So we'll go over back to Unreal and we'll just rotate the gnomes by 90 degrees. Great. And I'll also do that for the other three blueprints. All right. And then I also saw they were a bit high up. We'll go back to our first one and we'll maybe put him a bit lower to the ground. I think 110 would do. And then just to make sure everyone is the same, every animation is the same, we'll just copy these numbers over and then compile them and compile this one and compile this one. All right. And now we can push these changes and check if it fully is working. All right, we have spawned back in and as you see, it looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Maybe we can lower them a bit, but as you see, if I place a building, they'll try to do everything to get to me. They'll even break all the walls to make sure that I fall down back in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just place down an item spawner with a gun in it to actually see if I can kill them. I'm going to place down an item spawner right here. All right, we'll start the game. We'll pick up our gun and we'll see if they give the right death effects. It explodes. Great. Okay, everything seems to be working. And now if you hit one of these triggers, I think it's this one, we'll disable the whole thing. So once you kill them all, the normal zombies will start spawning, but you can just link this trigger also up with the creature spawner and then these zombies won't spawn. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, the free code is linked down Discord below and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.